All right, hello everybody. This is uh, Edward Pivos for M Live, and when you wish upon a star, you come to this amazing Disney Heroes and Villains exhibition at the Henry Ford in Dearborn, which opens Saturday, the 25th of June, and runs all the way through January. I want to bring in Becky Klein from the Walt Disney Archives in California, and we're here. Actually, I wanted to start right here. We're in front of. The original Mary Poppins, Julie Andrews, and the 2018 version with Emily Blunt. And so these are the real costumes that they wore in the movie, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my the gosh. real thing. This one, uh, the original Mary Poppins, came out in 1964, and this one is the oldest costume in this exhibition. And it's Mary Poppins traveling costume. So that's the piece that was worn by Julie Andrews in the original film when she flies in from the clouds to the bank store step, she's wearing that costume. And I love how it shows, and this, in these exhibitions there's a lot of pictures, mm -hmm. showing a movie screenshot, and then there you go. So you get the perspective of what it looked like with the actor, actress in the movie, and then right here in a life size, uh, where are these props usually at then, uh, when they're not in a traveling exhibit like this? Well, the Walt Disney Archives is based in Southern California, in uh, Burbank. We are part of the Walt Disney Corporation, which, whose corporate headquarters is on the studio lot in Burbank, California. So our offices are there and our warehouses are nearby. Okay, let's uh, take a look around because this is unbelievable. I mean, you just turn your head and you have everything here. Look at uh, Alice through the looking glass, Sasha Baron Cohen's costume from that movie. We'll continue on. I mean, I can't. This right here, I go to a lot of Comic Cons. People <laughs> cosplay this right here all the time. Maleficent. 2014, this is Angelina Jolie. This is very iconic right here, right? Oh yeah, this is the, the costume that everybody remembers from this film. And you can see it's because one of the reasons, of course, the, the horns on top of her head, which you see her headdress there, but also this iconic costume that has this huge flowing train at the back. And the fabric that this is made out of is really special. It looks, it looks like leather, it's very lightweight, because we wanted her to have that really flowing thing. When she goes up those stairs towards the king and queen, this, this cape flows behind her, very lightweight. And so it's a very special costume because it, it looks so substantial, but it's very lightweight. Very cool. And that is a very popular character. Yes. And so is this right here. Yeah. Um, Glenn Close? Am I right? I yeah, remember. this is Glenn Close. This is Glenn Close. Okay. This is from a, the, very, the first of the live action Cruella uh, 101 Dalmatian films. And this is Glenn Close's costume. and. Uh, interesting thing, it doesn't really say that there, but the puppy is also a, a prop for ah. the film. It's a stand-in Dalmatian puppy, and actually Cruella had to menace the puppies in the movie, and they didn't want to scare real puppies, so they made a stand-in puppy that she could be mean to. So this this uh, particular pose shows her you know, being, being mean to that poor little Dalmatian puppy, as she was, was wont to do in that film. But this is from the first live action version of that story. Wow, very cool. From 96. And yes. I want to take you guys over here real quick. This is another super popular movie. All three costumes <laughs> from the 1993 hit film Hocus Pocus with Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, uh, uh, Kathy, I don't Kathy remember. Kathy Jimmy. Yeah, thank you. And Sarah Jessica Parker in the middle and Bette Midler here on the, on the left. Wow. And this is such yeah. a, again, this is such a iconic movie people love this is such a cult classic movie it has been and you know because it's so popular we've made a second uh, a sequel to it okay. which is going to come out at the end of september on disney plus disney plus so hocus pocus 2 and actually the same characters are in that film were the same costumes so when they wanted to make those costumes for the new version uh they came to the archives and took pictures and measured and looked at these costumes and they could reproduce them correctly amazing um i want to go over to beauty and the beast this is really neat let's walk over uh, oh, Caribbean. I miss this. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Danny Jack Sparrow, one of our best anti-heroes. Uh, <laughs> Captain Jack, you never know if he's the good guy or the bad guy in that in, in those films. Oh, so he's kind of he falls into the spaces in between, which is what this area is of of like Maleficent in her own film. You know, sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad. You know, in the animated film she's a, a villain, but in in this film she tells her own story, so she's not so villainous. And here you see uh, Captain Jack, who falls into the same uh, place. So cool. I totally missed that. There's so much here. <laughs> um, but I wanted to go over here. Um, these are so iconic right here. Yeah, we showed you some villains, but these are some of our heroes. You have Emma Watson, both of her costumes from Beauty and the 
piece from 2017. Look how beautiful those are, those costumes. Yeah, and she her hurled her dress. And then um, this beautiful ball gown that she wears in the iconic uh, ball gown scene where she and the beast dance. Wow. And just again, I like how they're, they're, they're not just hanging up on a curtain rod mm -hmm. or something, or a curtain rod, a <laughs> hanger. <laughs> they're, you know, they're in mannequins and it yeah. makes it look elegant. It, it's, it's, it makes it look like you're, you're seeing the perspective from uh, the actor actress wearing it in the movie, which is really nice. And in many cases, we have them out where you can really get up close and see them. We don't have barriers. There's, there's not fancy yeah. in front of some I'm literally, costumes. literally yeah. right here. Yeah. yeah there's no you, glass, so you're not. Glass. Yeah, not we don't want you like touching it, but we want you to be able to see the details up close. Yes, exactly. And, and of course, more Beauty and the Beast right here. Yeah, and as you can see. Oh, you okay? <laughs> so of course, one of the Slippery interesting floor. things okay. about this is that um, we had the mannequins made specifically. You're mentioning her dancing. Yes. This particular mannequin, uh, the costume that, that was worn for Beauty and the Beast, the, for the live action version, you know, the, it's a big costume and it was done with padding and, and special effects. But we had to sh display it on a big mannequin. So we had to custom make some of these mannequins. <laughs> so we custom made a Beast mannequin like this and then also made them more action so you can see you know, the, the emotions of the characters as opposed to just the costume. Very neat. So again, if you're just joining us, we're just giving you a little sneak peek of the Disney Heroes and Villains Exhibition, which opens on Saturday at the Henry Ford Museum here in Dearborn. Runs all the way through January. Um, Becky Klein from the Walt Disney Archives is, is showing us a uh, little sneak peek here and giving you you know everything about these costumes, oh, don't you? This is my That's your job. That's your career. This is my jam. Um, I just want to show a couple more of these. Which one should we go to? Because there's just two, there's so many. Um, we saw Mary Poppins. We saw Hocus Pocus. We have a lot of costumes here for once upon a time. Television Once upon a time, the TV show. Captain Hook here. So there's some kind of fun, Sort of, sort of in between costumes here with the two Avenger characters that are both good and bad. And some of those beautiful and interesting mm -hmm. costumes are from a wrinkle in time. Yeah, so over here, uh, uh, we had what, Oprah Winfrey? Oprah is the one on the Yeah, Oprah Winfrey right yeah. here. And then Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling, yeah. In the middle. And Reese Wilkins, the one right. Yeah, three, and three amazing. These are stunning. People right here. I mean, yeah. Oprah, Mindy Kaling, and Reese Witherspoon. I mean, does it get any bigger than those three? Really? Exactly. Yeah. And the amazing. costumes are absolutely elaborate and, and stunning. You know, these are the only costumes that these three characters wore in this film, and so they're they're really beautiful. And again, I love how you can see a picture. Again, and you're just joining us. You can see a picture screenshot in the movie of the actress or actor wearing them, and then right in front of you, you have the life size mannequin and the, the original wigs there. from the film. In this original one. wigs too. Wow. Those are the original wigs. Well, Disney saves everything. Oh, yes, fantastic. we do. <laughs> but when we know a film is coming out, we know it's going to be very important uh, artistically. We will ask specifically for specific costumes, and we can try to get the wigs and accessories as well. Okay. Um, we're going to do one more. I'm going to go all the way, all the way around the corner. One of my favorite actresses, Anna Kendrick. Love, Love Anna Kendrick. I love these. Oh, these too. Yes. These are beautiful. Kate Blanchett's costume from Cinderella. Yes. Cinderella, Kate Blanchett. Amazing. I mean, look at that. And then the hat, too. Wow. Gorgeous. And then again, it shows her wearing it in the movie right there. Amazing. Again, we're at the Henry Ford in Dearborn. This opens on Saturday. And you have months to see it. And you'll probably want to come multiple times. You want to bring your kids, and they'll come wear costumes. And amazing. This is gorgeous right here. It's from Cinderella. And this is Sam Powell, who also did Lady for me. That film, Cinderella, she did all the costumes for it. So Lily James wore that in, in its iconic ball gown sequence with the glass of Lily James crystal. Swarovski crystal. Uh, Swarovski? Swarovski? Hard time saying that one. Swarovski made the uh, slipper for it, so it's just solid crystal. And then you make the This is the version of Cinderella from Into the Woods. From uh, Into the Woods in 2014, mm -hmm. Anna Kendrick's costume from that movie. The interesting thing about this, so different from the Lily James version, Anna Kendrick's costume uh, is a little closer. The, the um, Into the Woods stayed a little closer to the original Grimm's fairy tale because what they did is there's no fairy godmother in that film. Instead, mm -hmm. she goes to the tree, which is above her mother's grave, and the tree helps her you know, transform. 
And so everything in here is a little bit more like the woods and like the trees. And you can see the color palettes, it's green and gold, like the leaves of the tree. But if you look at the slippers, you can see they look like bark. Oh, the slippers do look like bark. Okay. So yeah, the, the theme of the movie so, into the costume. Into could, the woods. And, yeah. Very special, very different from the glass or crystal slippers that you see in the other ones. Okay. And that's Cinderella's costume from the Once Upon a Time TV show. And then this is the, the earliest live action version of the Cinderella story. This was worn by Brandy. Brandy? The Rogers and Singer Hammerstein. and the actress, mm -hmm. Brandy. Yeah. They did a TV version of the of the Rogers and Hammerstein musical. Oh. So that's Brandy's costume. You can see she it was much younger. She was very young when she did that. A little peplum and everything makes her look a little bit uh, more youthful. And then we put in Fairy Godmother's costume, which was worn by Whitney Houston. Yeah. And this one is inspired by the art of, of the artist Gustav Klimt, who did the, the Woman in Gold and the Kiss and some of those other very famous paintings. Mm -hmm. It's very geometric and gold for, for Whitney. Wow. And okay. then, of course, for the Lily James, we have uh, Helena Bonham Carter's Fairy Godmother costume over there. And in the film, that one has lights inside the white house. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us around, okay. Becky Klein, from the Walt Disney Archives, mm -hmm. all the way from California. Yeah. So welcome to Michigan. So <laughs> as we close here again, you can come to the Henry Ford and Dearborn members can come beginning tomorrow, but it opens to the public beginning on Saturday and runs all the way through January. And I forgot to ask, are tickets included with admission to the Henry Ford? So if you buy a ticket to the Henry Ford or if you're a member, Tickets to this exhibition are included, like most of the amazing uh, ex exhibitions that they have had here, like the Muppets one and various things like that. Now you have, and this is amazing, this is <laughs> absolutely will blow you away when you guys see this in person. So come on out, Henry Ford Dearborn. One last look <laughs> at Brandy and Whitney Houston's costumes. There you go. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.